What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Souls 1. Air is preparing to head into An Orlando. Last time we took down the Iron Golem and went through Sen's Fortress. Uh, you can talk to this boy to fly back down, I think. I don't remember doing that before, but hello. I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away now. Man, I did not know that. Wait, do they, 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 they actually just fly you back down? Huh. I don't know if I've, if I've ever done this before. Well, there you go. And back up we go. <laughs> Anyways, into Anor Orlando we go. And we're gonna beeline it for the bonfire, and then we need to there's a also a gargoyle down there. Okay, these guys. Let's see what kind of damage we do to them. Actually that's pretty damn good. Go ahead, drop 1,000? 1,500, that's not bad. Honestly, this would be a, possibly a good area to farm. What? I don't understand. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm wondering if we should swap out combust, like, you know, keep one combustion on, but maybe use greater combustion as well. That would probably be good to have set up for boss fights. Ooh, giant's hover. I want to say the bonfire is like literally right here, and there should be a friend in here, temporary friend at least. Yeah. Hello. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anor Londo. Like your helmet. Chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. Yep, she's a firekeeper. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well. I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. Cool. It's already kindled too. All right, let's go two there. Let's go one there, one there, one there. We need to start pumping decks like sooner than later. Oh, I probably should look at the requirements up for the Quillag Fury Sword because we're about to get it once we, um, well, once we get way over there, which we have to go through there first. I don't remember. There's stuff to do, obviously, still. I don't think we can go over here yet. Oh, but there's some lore. And some lore. There's Smo, a statue of Smo right there. Oh, is there a statue of Ornstein in the other is? You can see it way over there. There's a statue of Ornstein in that one. We're going the wrong way on purpose right now. 
I just wanted to kill these guys. You a mimic. You're not. Twinkling, which I believe we're gonna need. We're gonna have to find some more of that. You are a mimic. Look at that. Bop! I missed. Oh no, I hit it. Sort of. And the crystal halberd. You're fine, we'll leave you alone for right now. Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna rest to get our chaos fireballs back, but we're gonna go down there next. I think that actually if you um so the gargoyles will be fought on the bell tower. So there's two parts to that. One they drop their axe if you cut their tail off, or their halberd, which we did. But the other part is they also drop a helmet. So, if you didn't get it during that fight, I believe you have another chance when you fight this gargoyle up here. But I don't think respawns once you kill it. Um... How much is this worth? Won't be 5k. Shit, it's 5k. Alright, well we'll just use... We'll use, um... Both of these then. Get two levels, I think. No, one level. Alright, whatever. That's fine. Alright, let's go. Um, We'll keep the 32 combustions. I think that's going to be better for right now. I don't know if you can get more than one great combustion. Because I would, I would throw 16 of those on it as opposed to 32 combustions. I think that we'll be able to use less combustions once we get our next weapon. I'm actually really excited. I've never used the weapon we're going to get for this playthrough, so I'm, I'm excited to see it. Oh, there's also a side area we can go to here. We'll go there after we uh, get to the blacksmith in this area. Which I don't necessarily remember how to get to him, so we'll figure it out together. I know where he's generally at. You're real. I don't. You're you're really annoying. You know that he does that. Look, he agrees. Cut your tail off? No. I could have, but we didn't get it. Hey, we got the helmet. Nice. I don't think that's a guaranteed drop. So, we do want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that right now. I don't know if we can... This lift might not be activated or something. Yeah, it, it is a dead end, right? Yeah, okay. So, we do want to go through that area over there. I believe the enemies in that area drop... Either you find it or they drop another... Uh, curved sword. <gasps> a chest. That is not a, a uh, not a mimic. What is it? Oh, demon titanite. Nice. I don't know if we need twinkling or demon for boss weapons. I honestly didn't use a boss. The only time I've ever used a boss weapon in Dark Souls 1 would have been like my original playthrough. Which was a long time ago. And I got the uh, or the uh, Art Artorias Abyss Sword, I think it was. Am I wrong? Do I not want to go down here? I thought we want to go across to one of these places. It's definitely on this side. We want to go in that building right there. Don't we? on a blank on how to get in though. Oh, it's literally right there. 
This is actually pretty hidden. Like, if you didn't know this was here, like, it would have been hard to put it together that you're supposed to drop down right here and run up here. Now, hey, there, there's the enemies that have the curve swords. I think those might kill you whenever you hit with, hit, 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 hit uh, enemies with them. So if you remember, when we went back to the prison um, a couple episodes ago, we got a peculiar doll. Um, that is needed for a, a side area in this zone. And that was a lucky, ha like a happy little accident because I forgot that was actually here. Or I forgot the doll was where it was at. I didn't know that fell. Well, that sucks that we died. Uh, we're not gonna get, we're gonna stay undead for right now. Um, or hollow, hollowed, not fully hollow. Um, but I thought you had to drop down to that. Good thing we didn't drop down because we might have died. Anyways. What do you guys think we should do fashion-wise for a pyromancer? I mean, I, I kind of like what we have on right now, but I'm not necessarily sold on it yet. I mean, two part. We have two pieces of the literal like daughter of Izalith gear, and the other one is we have the thief. <clears throat> I think we have thief the the black leather gauntlets on with the the uh, what is it like thief mask? Yeah. And black leather gloves, yeah. I don't really want to wear all, like, Isolith stuff, because that makes you look like a ring wraith, and I'm just not a big fan of it. Not, not a ring, I love ring wraiths, but just for this, the aesthetic of this build. Panda Guardian shirt. Uh, do you, is that what just fell right there? That might have been what just fell right there was the set. Maybe red plate mill? I don't think there is any red plate mill. That's not what it is? Okay. D do they drop it whenever you kill them? Oh, it's in the painted world? Okay. Well, we're going to go there after we get our boss or our, our sword we're going to be running with for the rest of the game. You've got to be f <gasps> Plan that. That was all according to plan right there. You're welcome. It's called being a pro gamer, you know? Oh, hi. No, not luck, Aldizen. That I planned on that happening. What do you mean, luck? Come on now. Is that how you get down there? What is the purpose of going down here? Roll in the middle near the wall. We're not doing that right now anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll come back. Oh, there's another gargoyle. 
believe the blacksmith is right there. Oh, roll from what the bottom of the ladder is. Does this not take you down there? What are you doing? What the fuck? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Hi. I guess you have a couple of chances to do it. Yeah, I guess you can cut their tail off a couple more times. I didn't know there were two of them here. No, oh, got a shield too. All right. Up we go. What's up, boys? Oh, uh, that might be a shortcut. It might not be time for that yet. Unlucky. Right in the foot. We probably should have went underground and got the right of kindling. I don't know why I didn't do that. It'd have been nice to have 15 flasks right now. All right, so we have to go around. Gotta go around town. All right, I'm kind of out on fireball. The range kind of sucks ass. I mean, it is the starter pyromancy, so that's part of it. That's so weak. Why do I want to go over here? Is there a reason? Stop. Stop it. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, you go down right there. Okay. Or do you go right here? Are these shortcuts maybe? Oh. Alright. Alright, well, time for, uh... For fun. If I remember correctly, this is the Silver Knight gauntlet you get to go through. Why would I go down right there instead of right here? I don't remember. Oh god, I hear them. They're already shooting at me. Oh, 
All right, well, let's see how many times I get knocked off. Why did I mean by you guys? Ow. That was very rude. On all accounts right there. My bunny cookie. That was all part of the plan, okay? Tactical reset. I wanted to get all my pyromancies back. You guys don't get it. All right, it's fine. This also is like the first time I've went through Dark Souls 1 without really using a shield. I mean, we have one, but it's just for parrying, not really for blocking. Out of my comfort zone, is what I'm saying. I love how the city is like, it's nice and bright over here, but it's so eerily empty. Like the way they do the setting for this is really cool. I think we can just run past those guys. I don't know if they'll path well enough to, to follow us. They might. And that'll be uh, not great when it happens, but. Thanks for the boost, buddy. Oh, they, they actually can't follow us. Holy shit. Just put that lightning damage ring on. The fire keeper's like, what the fuck are they doing? Why do they keep showing up back here? All right, we're off. Again, I might just fucking Great Chaos Fireball them. Just to not deal with them. It probably won't kill them, but it'll stagger them and won't be able to go give them a bonk. Or this is more of a slap with the scimitar. I believe there is a bonfire here, like up in this area. We should see a good buddy here somewhere too, I think. Every time. Dude, I cannot fucking move. <laughs> oh my god. Just keep chugging.
Can't see. You probably can parry those fuckers too. About to put poison mist on. That might be, this might be the first part of this playthrough where I'm slightly frustrated. Everything else has been fine so far. I've not really been upset about any of the deaths, like really upset about them. This is kind of fucking annoying. It always comes back to enemies that I don't really fight that much. We just run through here normally. This run back is slightly, I mean, it's a little bit longer than you'd like. It's kind of boring. Nothing's happening until you get right to it, right there and then you die. Well, I die. Let me try again. I wonder if that actually has a pathway down to the, the bottom part of the chap or uh, cathedral, whatever you want to call that there. How? I was on the ground. Okay, here we go. The boys and their great bows. Thankfully, you can't fall off very easily here. I would love to know how that works, but all right. Oh, he fell. I also got smacked right there, but the other dude fell. Do you have backup? No. I was supposed to be two anning right there, but I didn't. The knights themselves aren't too hard to deal with, at least. I thought it was worse than that. Maybe there's more of that later. Hello? Hello? Are you a mimic? Nope. Oh, sunlight metal's nice. We actually never got the sunlight, the, the shrine or whatever you want to call it. It's underneath the flame drake or fire drake or whatever. Oh, look, hey, there's Solaire. There's our buddy. Hi. Oh, there you are. You've been quiet these days. Smooth summoning out there. Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. Thanks, Solaire. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I think you had feelings for me. Maybe I oh, do. Dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> you really are. <laughs> All right, let's grab this. 
And we might as well kindle it. I forgot humanity full heals you in this game. I think that it, once you get the right of kindling, you can kindle up to plus 20 on the flat. Well, up to 20 flasks. I remember farming these guys for so long to get their weapon. This is not a no flask challenge run. Fuck that noise, dude. Maybe one day. I like I said before, I would like to do um a uh like try to do a no death challenge for one of the Souls games. Like can't die throughout the whole playthrough, which obviously what you're seeing right now does not look great for me. But I think it would be really fun. I don't know what the fuck's down here. Oh, there's an there's a cult weapons down here, I think. You did it in a death run your first time playing. It's pretty impressive to me. The random weapon every seven second mod and the plus the aggro mod plus self grave board mod. What does that do? This area is a secret because they had weapons to kill gods in the city of the gods. And there's the dragon tooth. That's Havel's weapon. This is where the theory that Havel was um, planning on, like, I guess, fighting back against the gods because all of his stuff's down here. Which also begs the question as to why is it the real Havel that's locked in the tower if there's all these Havel things here? You know what I mean? I'm sure there's somebody who's more familiar with the lore, which I'm fairly, but like that knows more that could answer that question better. I think a, a randomizer would be really fun. I agree with that. Uh, and like have to, you, you, it's like use what you find. It's everything you pick up, you have to put on or use. And so like if it's a weapon, you put it on. If it's armor, you put it on. That actually sounds like a lot of fun. Not I, I honestly, I mean, we could do it in Dark Souls 1. I don't, I'm assuming there's one for two and three as well. Oh, Titanite Knight Demon. Missed. There we go. We'd love it so we can laugh at you when you get a super good weapon and then have it, have it replaced with a shit weapon. Well, yeah, that's the idea. That, that And that's supposed to, that does, from what I've watched before, that happens all the time. And you also f are forced to put on, like, all the armor and rings and everything. So, like, you can have, like, super heavy armor and be fat rolling, like, and barely move and stuff. Like, it ends up being pretty comical. I remember when I first found out that you can you can tell if it's a mimic by the chain, the the, the, the chain facing direction that like blew my mind. I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. Did I go in this way? There is. There is a head ahead. I agree. Another one. Hello? Look at these nice portraits. 
Ooh, look at that one. Imminent holding with both hands. Oh, God. Hello? Someone outside is pissed. Don't do it. <laughs> His buddy didn't aggro. Ass stab. Wanted to switch it up. Come over here. He's, oh, he did the change up right there. It looks so cool when, like, the, like it does the enemy type, but I always found their armor look kind of wonky on the player. I don't know where I'm going for the record. I'm just wandering. Oh, hey. I don't know what can be done. Ah, let me guess. Were you repelled by the Silver Knight? Ah, oh, don't be ashamed. It is the fate of vanguards like you and I. I'll think of something. This is quite a fix. We'll need another three. No, maybe five bodies. Hmm. I'll do it. Ow. It is weight. They're very honorable. Dude, imagine getting stabbed in the dick multiple times. I guess one time would be enough, right? How do you feel about that? Wow, not great. Alright, that does not stagger you. Where is it? I wonder where this... Oh, this door right there. Oh, a chest, too. Blacksmith? Oh, that might be the blacksmith. That's kind of cool. Hey, we're back. Go tell old Siegmeier. Thanks, dude. Gallantry entails great risk. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. What does that do? Oh, small increase of HP. I'd like to find that blacksmith. I know he's he's obviously here. I just can't remember when you get to him. I think we're on the wrong side of the castle. All right, let's go down a different way. So I went that way. Let's go this way. Not even a shiny.
That has to hurt rolling on those steps like that. Oh. Oh, that goes down there. Okay. This is like the easiest way to fight these enemies. Which is why I keep doing it. Because as badass as they look and are, they swing real slow. Not a mimic. Oh, is it, it's probably the whole Silver Knight set. Yep. I hear that Titanite demon. I think that's what I'm here. I hear. I didn't miss him, right? Oh, motherfucker, I'm getting invaded. Oh, wait, what? Gwendolyn? Oh, is this a cosplay build? Yeah. I don't, they weren't behind me. Well, that's okay. Oh, well. You're right, Gwendolyn would not use that sword, but he'd use a bow, right? Bow and catalyst, yeah. Alright, now I lost my bearings. Hold on. Oh, fuck. Are you coming out of here now? I'm just reinforcing how bad at PvP I actually am. Fuck, what did I want to do? I don't remember where I was at now. It's not great. I think I was going this, we go back up here. Don't aggro, thank you. It might have been this way. What a shit show. God damn it. That's the room that Sigurd or Sigmeyer was in. Oh crap. Man, we were doing pretty good there. That invasion really threw me for a loop. It was only a matter of time until we got invaded for the record, but because we were human for a while. I would like to, uh, 
to get the catalyst though. Not the catalyst, the fucking blacksmith. Get the weapon I want. I'm going the right way, I'm pretty sure. Not, not one of them has dropped their damn sword yet, either. Did I go in there yet? I it did go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because we did that down there. Hey, there he is. Oh, he's thick as fuck. Holy shit. Hold that thought, sir. A faceless demon. Unbelievable. Always rooting for the bad guy. Hell whipped right there. There we go. You don't know if it's a bad guy. Just misunderstood. It was just chilling in its house enjoying some tea. Now tell me how is how who is the bad guy? Well, how is it enjoying tea when it has no mouth? First off, answer that question. All right, we're going the right way. Uh, let's go this way first. I think that you can open that door, obviously, for a shortcut. I don't know if it's really a shortcut, though. That might be the right way right there. Did you ask why something could enjoy tea without a mouth? Or how? Yeah. Yeah, that, that is what I asked. This is the right way. I'm fairly certain. That definitely went right up my ass right there.
Yeah, you, I hear him hammering. <laughs> Fucking enemies, just die. There we go, my god. Hello, sir. Who are you? Forge your weapons. Alright. Modify equipment. How do I do that? Wait, why can't... Oh, there it is. Quite like Fury Sword. Thank you. Now, reinforce weapon. We need Demon Titanite. So there's one, two, three, four. We need two more for plus five. Then it's maxed out. Look at this badass weapon we have now. Now we're thematic, baby. Maybe he boosts the tea. He boosts the tea? What does that even mean? I've never had this before. It's kind of cool. Nice. We're pyromancing now, baby. That increased range is, is beautiful. I, I love that. The weapon screams, look at me, I need attention. Um, <laughs> it's not lying. Best NPC in the game for the record. We can be depressed in Dark Souls 3. Just remember this guy. So he sells regular large twinkling green giant stuff. Oh, I wonder if this reinforces that he might be the, the giant in the picture then that has all the, the armor on. He's selling his old gear because he's, he's taking the life of the blacksmith. So we can actually upgrade armor too here. We could do it before as well. Oh, you know what we should do? Dreamer said regular large twink. Yes. No, did you ask if he, if he sold regular <laughs> sold regular or large twink? No, no. Regular Titanite, large Titanite, or twinkling Titanite. this goes now oh, back here so we need to acquire two more demon titanite to max this weapon out which and then I'll be very happy it's a one shot oh it doesn't one shot damn it There's a metric fuck ton of fire damage though. We're getting plus 42 to physical. We don't get any plus to fire, obviously. So it has a B scaling with with uh um with deck, so we'll keep popping it. it, it it's Quailax Fury Sword, correct? So also, the more humanity, if we max out at 10 humanity, it makes the sword stronger as well. 
Same with any Chaos um, Pyromancers we pick up. We only have one right now. That does really good damage. Nice. The boss room is obviously right there. We're not going to do that tonight. We've met our goal. That's Wrath of the Gods, I think. Or maybe it's the other one where you just, there's just a knockback. That range is so nice. That is Wrath. I'm not really scared of the next boss fight, to be honest with you. I just... Yeah. Ornstein and Smo is what you mean. Get it right. Put respect on their name. Shortcut unlocked. Oh, I didn't open that gate. You disrespect all but Ornstein. Ornstein's a badass. He's in all three fucking games. Well, technically he's in two of the games. And there's an imposter in one of them. They're probably like one of the best boss fights in all of Dark, of, of all Souls games. Yeah, in Dark Souls 2. That's not Ornstein. Sometimes. I wonder. When you first fought them, you're like, what the fuck? This is impossible. It is a pain in the ass fight. But it's a good fight. It's a fair fight. All right. Well, before we go any further, we are going to wrap up this episode for YouTube right here. So as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed Aerith's adventures through Lordron and in particular in Orlando. We got our weapon finally. Now the next goal is to max out our Pyromancy Flame um, and then get all the Pyromancies in the game and keep using them. So, And also complete the game, obviously. But as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see all of you in the next one. Peace.